we have to integrate the square root of the natural log of x divided by x. Let's try to work through it. Solution. So a good idea maybe in uh, a problem like this is to start with a u substitution. Perhaps we can uh, let what's inside the square root be equal to our u. So we'll let u be equal to the natural log of x. Typically that's a good strategy. u is usually whatever is being raised to a power, uh, whatever's in a root. It's a good first attempt. Then we take the derivative of both sides. So the derivative of u is du, and the derivative of the natural log of x is 1 over x dx. And now we're in a really good place, right? You could, you could think of this integral as follows. You could think of this as the square root of the natural log of x times 1 over x dx. So it can be thought of uh, this way, right? You can think of this as a number over 1, so the multiplication should make sense. So now we can make our substitution. So this becomes the indefinite integral. So this piece here, the ln, is going to be u. So it's simply the square root of u. And then we have 1 over x dx. Well, we said that was du, so this is du. Okay, when we have the square root of u, we can write it as u to a power. In particular, the square root can be written as u to the one-half. So this is u to the one-half du. And now we can use the power rule. So whenever you have u to a power, as long as that power is not negative one, you can add one. So you do one-half plus one. That's really one-half plus two halves. So that's 3 halves. And then you divide by that number as well. So it's u to the 3 halves over 3 halves plus our constant c. That's the power rule. And so the last thing to do is maybe clean up this fraction. When you divide by 3 halves, you really multiply by the reciprocal. So it's 2 over 3. And then the last thing to do is replace u with what it was. So u is the natural log of x. So this is parentheses, ln x to the 3 halves, and then we have our arbitrary constant of integration, c. And that is the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful to someone who is learning uh, some u substitution. That's it.